Hi, and welcome to Introduction to Sculpting in Blender. We will start the course simply by discussing what is digital sculpting and how is it different from regular modeling. By default, you might have learned how to sculpt using something like polymodeling techniques. This is where we are starting with a cube or a plane or something like that, and we will extrude the shapes out and we will create characters and props and everything that way. Now, this is a fantastic way to get started. If you are working with something like a prop, you want to model a shoe. This is a real powerful way of working because this means that you can very quickly block this in and you don't have to re apologize it. The problem with this approach though, is if you want to make characters. And this is how we used to do it back in the day before sculpting was a thing. The reason why this is hard and why this is problematic is because it's very hard to sculpt what you want. It's very hard to really create what you want very quickly. It's a very technical and tedious process where you have to think about the shape at the same time as you're thinking about the actual topology of the character. If you want to, let's say this is the mouth of the character, if you want to insert some eyes into this guy, well, you will have to first model it up and then you'll have to do something like this and you'll have to extrude it inwards and now you have to shape it. This is time consuming, it's messy and it's not particularly fun. But sculpting on, on the other hand allows you to really create what's on your mind. You can create whatever is in your imagination. You can have tons of fun with it. Well, this is polymodeling where we are just starting to model something out using polygons. Scu with sculpting, you will start off with a cube or a sphere. In this case, we can use a sphere. And then we can use all sorts of cool tools where now we can go into sculpting mode. Of course, we cover everything on how to use the sculpting tools in later on in this video. We can now enable symmetry. And now we can simply start to move on our points around and we can really be creative in what we want to do. If we want to add some eyes here, can prepare them a little bit just by moving some points in here. And then we can turn this into a remeshed mesh. So now we can just turn this into a mesh which has completely unworkable topology in a traditional sense, but it means you can sculpt on it. If you want to add, if you want to add horns to this character, you can do that. You can just drag these out. Then we can remesh it again. If you want to add a body to this, you can add, do this as well. You can just add a body by dragging it out. Then we can remesh again. If you want to add a nose to this guy, like this crazy goblin nose, we can do that, then remesh. If you want to add a mouth to him, you can simply push in the mouth like so and remesh. If you want to make it a lot, if you want to make it a lot higher S, you can do that. And if you want to start sculpting now, we can very easily do that as well. We can just go in here and we can just start to sculpt in what we want. And this is really the essence of digital sculpting. It doesn't matter at all whether you are using ZBrush or Blender, or whatever. This is the essence of it, which means that you can sculpt something from basically nothing. And you can see here within a very short amount of time, you can actually make something that reads as a character. And this is where sculpting is so much fun. You can change it at any point as well. If you want to remove these horns or turn them into ears, you can do it as well. You can just change it up at any time and we can just turn these crazy horns into just big ears. If you want to make the nose even longer and more crooked, you can do that. If you want to give this guy some tiny arms coming out of his neck as well, you know, we can do that as well. It doesn't matter, whatever you want to do, you can really do this with digital sculpting. And throughout this course, we will cover all the different techniques you need in order to get started with this. We will cover Dynetopa, which means that you will um, create topology where you are sculpting. So now you can just drag something out in infinity. We'll cover remeshing, which we have just been using a little bit, which allows us to remesh our model like so. We'll cover all the different brushes as well, such as using the draw brush and using the draw sharp brush and all of this. We'll cover how to use the multi-resolution modifier where we can add subdivision levels to our character like this, which will simply just multiply the poly count by four. And then at the very end, we will up 
sculpting Suzanne. <laughs> we will take the Suzanne base mesh and we will sculpt it up properly using everything we have learned. It means you can turn a regular monkey, a regular mesh like this into that pretty quickly just by using the sculpting tools. This is essentially impossible to do using traditional modeling tools. So in short, digital sculpting is a set of tools which allows you to create whatever you want to create really fast in an artistic manner. It puts the artistic and cre creative skills in the front seat and puts the technical skills required more in the back seat. It means you can create anything you want to right away but are really having to worry about topology or the poly counts or anything like that. So it's a really fun process. I'm enjoying a lot and uh, it's something that we will focus on throughout this course.